I've just arrived on the River Severn. I'm after Barble. The river's uh, a good few feet up, looking good. So that's my target species for today. And I've brought with me some Barble sticks, as you can see there. That's a packet that's uh, it's already open. That's what you get in the, in the packet. You get uh, five of those. And what you can then do, of course, is you can break them off like so and you can hair rig them and I'll show you a piece of that now as I'm reaching down there it is like Blue Peter here's one I made earlier if you're of a certain generation you'll know that and as you can tell uh, just from looking there on the uh, on the screen the hook is is, is far too uh, small for that or the bait is far too big for the hook so what I do and I do this intentionally anyway is I start to break off pieces like that and I'll take a chunk off the top of the bait there we are a little bit fiddly there you can see now it's a bit more realistic in terms of balance between the size of the hook and the size of the bait I will dip that I've got some uh, dip this is a squiddy by the way I've also bought a frankfurter barbel stick I'm fishing two rods I'll dip that and then I'm going to be using a small PVA bag and those little pieces that I just took off the edge they will drop in and also I will crumble up some of those other pieces of barbel stick as well definitely worth getting hold of confidence level for me is such that that's all I bought today I bought a pack of uh, squiddy and a pack of frankfurter so that's my my confidence level high isn't it if I haven't bought a plan B I don't need a backup bait I'm confident that these will put some fish on the bank and that's the PVA bag there ready to cast as you can probably see the uh, bits of barbel sticks in there also some pellets and I've tipped some of the the, uh, the dip in as well that gives it a, an added flavor and also of course as it hits the water it hits the uh, the bed of the river it just releases a little bit of trail again just little things that can give you the edge and put that fish in the net that you're really after and sometimes even though conditions look good you you can you can struggle so little things like that can just give you that maybe few percent extra in terms of advantage against not choosing to do things like that, adding dip, putting little bits of crumbled uh, bait in and so on and so forth. Anyway, let's get cast out, see if I can get a fish. Just a small chub, caught on the squiddy. It's 1-1 one, one now. The Frankie has just produced my first barbel of the session. It's a better fish as well than the second one I caught. And this is on the squiddy. Well, my confidence has been rewarded, hasn't it, with the, with the barbel sticks? Although there was no doubt, of course. The other bait that I do like for barbel is uh, M2 Boily. But perhaps I'll do, a, I'll do another feature on that for now it's just about the the barbel sticks do you know my claim to fame is that i came up with the name sticks as in x on the end i was with des taylor one day at kidderminster in the uh in the old sbs warehouse before it was uh, sold the company to uh to some people in hungary and uh, des was sharing with me about the uh the product and it was to be called stick, as in a CK. Oh, let's get this one, it's going into some... Uh, oh. I haven't got anybody to follow me with the camera. And it was a CK, and I just came up with the idea of uh, X, and Des liked it, so we went with that. Can you hear the fish splashing there? I think it's ready to yield now. There it is, in the net. There's one thing better than playing a fish, it's actually netting it. And there it is, 2-1 to the squiddy. And this one's going back, and the film also comes to an end as well. <laughs> 